Uh, first, I'd like to start off uh, talking about Nicaragua. And uh, yesterday, the Ortega government sent police and government-aligned arms groups to the town of Messiah in a deadly attack on its own citizens. Reports suggest that at least three people have been killed and dozens have been wounded. The Ortega government's brutal campaign of violence against their own people must stop immediately. Yesterday's assault on Messiah is another glaring example of Ortega's efforts to cling to power no matter the cost to the people of Nicaragua. Since April, attacks on university students, journalists, clergy have killed hundreds, and the international community is united in its condemnation of the heinous act. We welcome recent statements by the United Nations, the Organization of American States, and well over 100, excuse me, well over a dozen countries condemning the government-sponsored violence. We urge others to join the international call for peace. We continue to support the Episcopal Conference of Nicaragua's efforts to advance negotiations to resolve the current conflict, restore respect for human rights, and achieve a better, more democratic future for all Nicaraguans. We appreciate the Church's critical role as a mediator. However, we are concerned that those officials seeking to bring an end to the crisis are coming under physical and reputational attack by the Ortega government and its supporters. The path to peace for the Ortega government remains through early, free, fair, and transparent elections. We urge the Ortega government to take concrete actions now and to negotiate in good faith. 